What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Quan, back with another video. Um, today's video is just gonna be about how I felt about the loss of Kobe Bryant and the helicopter crash. And, you know, how it affected me when I found out about it. Um, ironically, it happened on my birthday. So, I'm gonna always remember it. That's first and foremost. Second of all, I want to give prayers, my deepest condolences to his family members, to his daughters, to his wife. Um, stay strong. I know it's easier said than done, but God will be there for you guys every step of the way, and I, I promise you that. You just got to believe in him and just let him. I know he has a crazy way of working things out, but it'll it'll all come to pass, and you know, Gone but never forgotten. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, man. Um, when I found out, I was recording another video that I haven't dropped yet. But I I pulled my phone out. And, you know, at first, I didn't believe it because you know how social media is about, you know, everybody just posts things for cloud and everybody just want to, you know, attention and, you know, it, it happens, it's social media, it's life, you know, people people bored and don't have a life and they just post anything about anybody. So, I know death is nothing to be joking about, but there are some people that either fake their deaths or like, you know, like I said, talk about real big people dying just for attention, just for media, media purposes, entertainment purposes, and I don't see anything entertaining about that at all but I pulled my phone out and just to check the time and I see Kobe Bryant dies in a helicopter crash so I was by the water um fishing so I backed up off the water cause you know my hands were full and I'm like what and then no sooner than I read that post, my mom called me and she was yelling at me like like I kn actually knew Kobe, like she actually knew Kobe. She was like, oh, why you didn't tell me Kobe Bryant just passed away? I was like, mom, I just found out myself, literally. I just seen the post. And when I seen it and when I knew when she asked me about it that's how I knew you know it was it, it it was a little bit closer to being true that I wanted it to be and you know later that night as the day went on on Instagram um yeah I seen posts rest in peace Kobe um his birth year and his sunrise year I mean his sunset year and it was, I don't know, I just couldn't believe it, you know? Mainly because he was a father and they said he was holding his daughter when the helicopter crashed, which I do believe because him and his daughter had the tightest bond ever, yo, ever, that I ever seen. Um, the fact that they said he was holding her while they were basically going straight to the ground in a helicopter. Um, yeah, that that hit different because I am a father of a little girl. We share a close bond. Um, and that's what really made me like, you know, it was a wake up call at the same time, but it, it's still hard, you know, another life, another legend gone. You know what I mean? It's not, I'm sure it wasn't easy for some people, but you know, his fans, I know everybody felt it. You know, I felt it because I was a fan. And like I said, I was a, I, I am a father at the same time. So I'm sure, you know, it's not going to be easy for a lot of people that share closer bonds with their daughters. It's just going to make them, you know, hold their daughters a little bit tighter at night, make the hugs a little bit longer at night while we can because. Life 
it's never promised. You know, I tell I tell myself, I tell people every day, you know. I got it tied on my left hand, you know. Life goes on, but at the same time, you never know when God is going to pull your card and, you know, call you home. And, you know, it's, it's just a, a tragic situation, man. I wish it could have turned out a lot more positive, but I don't know. God works in mysterious ways, and, yeah, I'm not really going to go too much deeper because I could really get deep, but I'm for for you guys to say I don't want you guys to, you know, sit here and, and go through the motions with me. But as a father, I felt that. I, I really did. I felt that when they said he was holding her and the fact that they both passed on the same day. I, yeah. You know, it, it hit it hit a little different. But um yeah, man. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Gigi. Prayers out to his wife. Prayers out to his other daughters. Um, his family and friends. Close family and friends. Old NBA colleagues. Prayers to Shaq, man. I seen how Shaq was reacting um, to his death. And I watched that video twice. And there's not a person that I, I've i watched that talked about Kobe's death that didn't cry. Men, women, young, old. Hell, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. My channel name is Life with Quan. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I cried over this shit. And I explained to you guys why. Because I'm a father. And the fact they said he was holding his daughter at the scene during the crash through the crash and after the crash it you know it it hit different you know it hit different but like I said I'm not going to really go in any more further than, than that right there take that and run with it um yeah man it's it's going to be a long one up for his family I know that for sure for his fans his, his legacy will never die that's that's for for damn sure. Um, yeah, man. Just to his family, just stay strong. I know it's gonna be hard, easier said than done, but you know, yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Rest in peace, TG. Go ahead and conclude this video. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos to come. I'm actually in the process of editing a video right now. Um, like I said, this video was being filmed the day I found out about Kobe's death, which was Sunday, January 26th. Um, my birthday, actually, my 23rd birthday. And yeah, that video is coming soon. I'm, I'm just tweaking a little you know they changed the the creator studio on youtube so i'm just trying to make my content actually worth watching um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video man make sure you like this video comment if you are a fan of kobe leave a, a heart emoji and and any emoji dealing with Kobe, man, just go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. And I guess I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's Quan. I'm out.